Hi, welcome to the video about how to use our Simbaloo page. This Simbaloo page has been designed specifically for Stage 1 students at my school who are learning about the world and information text. They're going to be asked to make an information book about the world and all the information that they will need has been placed onto this web mix. Over here in this group of tiles at the top, there's some welcome message. I've made a welcome message personal to each class using Chatterpix. Chatterpix is a very popular app that we use at our school and I thought it would be a nice way to open the inquiry for these students. To open up, you just click on the tile and it will take you to press play and it will start with... Hi, one, two, R. Uh... We are about to start a project learning about our world. So when you finish, you can either play it right through, pause it, then go over here, there's a little arrow. That'll take you to the next video. And if you're not wanting to watch that video, you can go up here to the cross. Teachers can set up their web mixes so that they can go in an organized fashion and run through a sequence. This web mix, um, because it's our first time in using one, I want the students to keep going back to the front page and opening up the tiles. There's a how to use Symbolo video, there's a pro forma for making an information book. And down the bottom here we have some digital apps. So if students wish to make a, a digital book or a presentation on their country instead of actually making a, a physical book, they can use one of these apps. There's also two examples that I've made, one using Storyfy and one using Prezi, so students can have a look and see what it is that they need to do when they're making one. Over here, these are specific websites that are based on countries around the world. So I say if we went into Geography, teachers are, um, can go through and find the, the best websites that they want the children to get the information from. If we clicked on to Asia, it takes us to the continent of Asia and it goes through and we can find out all the information and down here we can click on any country in Asia so we can specifically look at a country. To go back, we just go back up here to our Simbaloo page. These are search engines so children can do their own exploring. There's Wordbook Online which links directly to our school, Google Earth, Dictionary.com, which is always a great app for those children when they're learning how to spell. You can speak into this app um, and it also has predictive text. Students who want to explore further than this web mix can go into Google it and look up their own information. Over here, because we're learning about fiction and non-fiction books, we're specifically looking at non-fiction information text. These two YouTube videos talk about the difference between the two. And I've made an iMovie over here so that students can find out what they need to have in their information text. Down the bottom is some fun YouTube videos and songs with lots of facts so that students can watch and listen and learn at the same time. We also have some games. For teachers to add new tiles, it's very easy. We just click on the tile, go over here to create a tile, and in here we can either create a tile by using a URL or we can search a tile. Symbaloo has a wonderful library full of different apps, websites and information. You can also go through the gallery of other teachers as well. You can browse tiles in a different category. Very simple and easy to use and it can be designed specifically to meet the needs of your students in your class and your school community. Thanks very much, hope you have fun.